I've been an administrator for six years. Well, you know, one of the roles as being an administrator is dealing with uh, some of the unexpected behaviors that happen throughout a day and kids make mistakes and we have to work through those. Before the threat assessment, there were some missing pieces that I felt like it could get better. I mean, I would never have thought of second, third, fourth, fifth graders could actually be a threat. I was thinking more of maybe middle school, definitely high school age kids. It was interesting to learn that the threat can be there at any age. Our mission statement for the SOC is to put schools in control of their own safety. That's really what we're all about, is empowering people and training them to step out, to step up and to take charge and to realize we have to do something. We can't just sit back, hope we don't have an Uvalde or a Columbine or a Sandy Hook here. So that same philosophy is really at the heart of threat assessment. It's training people to, to take responsibility for the safety of their school and also the, the safety and the health and the well-being of the kids and the, and the families of the kids who are making those threats. It's, it's really everybody. Threat assessment is really designed to, to be a, a prevention measure, to stop things, to recognize them, before they happen and to and to put resources and, and safeguards and care in place to uh, prevent those things from happening. Parents are trusting me that their kid is safe when they come into this building and I want them to be able to know that we've got systems that we're going to be going through to making sure that we're not leaving any stone unturned but I really think about it as taking care of that student. The other main thing about threat assessment is to restore that threatening student, the person who made those threats, to that environment. We don't wanna get rid of people and kick them out and, and just push them off and make them someone else's problem. The, the goal of threat assessment is to restore that individual to the school family and to give them the help that they need and the assistance and the and the compassion to to bring them back into the fold. The fact that there are so many steps in place and they're all structured, I mean it's not just okay this child is a threat and we're just going to expel them from school. I mean there is a process and there's a plan in place to help them and to try and keep them in the school and um, I like that it's it's structured to, to help identify what the situation is and not just to kind of sweep it under the rug. It's research-based. There's no bias in the questions that you're asking. It takes out your feelings. You know, again, I'm a relationship person and so I believe in people and I believe in students. The administrators, the count, counselors, our SROs know the system and so when, when these come into place, you know, a threat comes, then we're able to go in and, and use that protocol. And the goal is to get um, you know, this whole process done within a, a very short amount of time, that 24 to 48 hours. So it's um, interviews that go with teachers, so we're getting the teacher aspect, um, interviews with parents, the students, the witnesses, and then taking all of that that information and meeting with that whole team that includes the SRO, which includes the counselor, which includes the administration, to then make sure that we haven't missed a step. At that point, that's really where threat assessment is, that's where it shines, is what do we do? Um, and it's really pretty simple. We wanna decrease what's causing that aggressive threatening behavior, any kind of factors that are leading up to that, we want to decrease that and we want to increase the positives in that student's life and keep that student close. And that's the other important thing we've seen in the old way of doing things. You would expel a student or, or get, get them out of the school. Well, if you take a student who is bent on violence or is this close to plotting and scheming to attack and then you take that, school, that student out of a structured caregiving environment, that's not a good combination. It's really awesome when you go into a, a, a situation, you know, talking about a kid that you care about and knowing that there's community and professionals that are there that believe, believe in that kid and want to give the, the support and also support the family. Um, and so that's a relief as well because I work in these walls, but I live in this community and um, 
I just want to make sure that those kids are, are, are cared for. Talk to your school district, talk to your administrator, go meet with your principal, find out what, what you can about it, uh, and, and be, be in control of, of your safety, of your, of your child's future, and, and they want you to be, we want you to be part of that solution. It just makes me feel safer sending my kids to school, knowing that something is being done, they're looking for these threats, and they have a plan in place to take care of it if something ever came about.